all you will need to do to assess this gift is to pay a lot of attention. Because the question that will qualify you for the gift will come from this teaching. Pay a lot of attention, you can answer the question. So please be moderators. Five minutes to my stoppage time. No matter how I've done in the spirit, you have to bring me back to the flesh. So we can use the remaining five minutes to attend to the question. Do we understand? And I'm serious. The gift, wherever you are now, career wise, business wise, that one gift will catapult, except you are lazy, and uh, will catapult you to your next level. In the name of Jesus. I've been asked to come here and um, just share with us. Um, as a matter of fact, what, did, what, what when you came to my office, he said, um, you know, I want you to come and tell them how you evolved. <laughs> I want you to come and what? tell them how you evolved. So that's all I want you to come and uh, share with them. Now, they were reading a profile as if, uh, so when I'm protesting for the president of Nigeria, because if they have to see, I have to to be, eh, you will be the next obedient to that you can support. So this one, eh, you know, what you will be there now. Eh, you know what I I after the whole comments, and it was uh, it was the challenges I went through that pushed me to, you know, uh, be where I am now, career-wise and business-wise. The challenges at the time are very difficult. Even though the inmate kids were there, they didn't see what I carried. Because it's either the platform was not there. You know, or some of it were still in its old state. Some of the ingredients of the manifestations that I've done and that I will still do were in its raw state. So, all my juniors, they kept, you know, they kept advancing and they weren't remembering me. So I made up my mind that, you know what? As long as there is God in heaven, I'm going to, by the help of the Holy Ghost, chant a course of my own life to evolve and advance against all of us. So I withdrew, that's why he didn't see me in the market at all. I withdrew, Pastor is here, we will tell you more about me. Pastor is here, we will tell you I withdrew to solitude and had a very, very boring life. A very boring life. You know, these people on campus that from school to library, library to class, I mean, how do you say, triumphant? Yes. And my, my boring life was simple. Wake up either 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. Start learning. The laptop doesn't go off. Start learning. By five minutes, you speak prayer walk to so power. You come back seven thirty, quick shower. The, the laptop doesn't go off, so you continue the learning. When on that 
continued and continued until we developed this kind of muzzle now that the muzzle god is becoming you know too burdensome some of it are becoming too burdensome for the career of the muzzle so when he saw me and said you know i have to come i accepted the invitation just to come and share our experience with you why must you evolve? The, it's written somewhere in the Bible, I think Galatians chapter 4. Huh? The hair, as long as it's a child, I mean, it's different not from the slave. Everything that belongs to him, the will given to him, will be given to a caretaker huh? to take care of it for him, I mean, until he matures. If he doesn't mature, he doesn't evolve, he has no right to that. Even though he's, he owns the whole estate, that estate, it is, it is spiritual. You don't mature, you can't manifest. And every one of us in this room, irrespective of your background, you are born for greatness, destined for greatness. That came to my mind as, you know, it was laid in my spirit to also let you know that. But I saw some people walk forward, you know, and I saw a brother here among the people that came forward to give their life to Jesus. Uh, when uh, Auntie Kate, you know, uh, made the altar call, if the brother is here, please see me as I saw you. It was laid in my heart to tell us, irrespective of your background, huh? you are destined for greatness. And I'm talking about you. Yes, you. You are destined for greatness. I have been forgotten, sir. I was forgotten. I was forgotten. I was forgotten to the point that, you know, the, the at least there was one of them. That I taught school of disciples those days as the youth coordinator of the entire state. He became a zonal pastor. If you see the buffet I brought up, became a zonal pastor. That means I should have become eh? a B. <laughs> Let me assist them. <laughs> they are recording us. You know, they put you behind. I mean, you know, just like this. <laughs> Praise God. So if you have forgotten, if you if you if they have if they have ridiculed you, they, they have said you could you would you could do it, you won't amount to nothing. Congratulations. I was once like you. So when all these things happened, I remember that nobody will actually hand over anything to me if I don't give more. I don't mature. I don't grow the required muscle for authority and responsibility. So what I did, I remember vividly, I had to draw a SWOT analysis of myself. You know what the SWOT analysis is? Your strengths, your weaknesses, the opportunities available for you. And the threats huh, that want to that are competing with you to um, to limit your advancements. I feel that improved on my strengths, work on my weaknesses and the ground the remaining. Leverage the available opportunities available for me 
the opportunities, not the one I have not gotten. I mean, the one, <laughs> the one available, the one available. Do you know that? Do you, do you, do you know that? The, you have an opportunity, I mean, correct. It may not be what you are looking for, but you can get what you are looking for and leveraging the current opportunity you currently have. The opportunities available for me then was in the professional front. Now, you know these professional bodies in Nigeria? They were available for me. So I began to start. Some of them younger than I am, some of them older, some advanced, some. I just began to start and leverage that network. And that network was one of the things that brought me to limelight that is making me stand before you today. Strength. Keep developing your strengths. Weakness is work on it. If they say your weakness is uh, when you are with people, maybe you are this kind of person that you are impatient with people. Huh? You know some of us are like that, right? You just want to be alone and you can't tolerate mediocrity. So when you are with people who tend to manifest mediocrity, you lose patience. They work on it. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Because that weakness is as a result of a particular strength. You know the compass? Not. Huh? East, West, South, right? The farther you go in a particular direction, you are manifesting weakness in the other direction. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me break it down. So that I hate over the ocean. I think the Holy Spirit wants me to dwell on this. So that the way the, the way the way they have found you, they have asked you, they have labeled you. Just to know that nothing is wrong with you. If you are a cerebral person, huh? you are somebody like myself that dwells in a sixth sense. Huh? You know people like that, but Thinkers, we always think, we, we create things from the imagination. Do you know that we pay less attention to how you look? You know what I said, right? You, 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 you are not a, a feeler, a feeler. You are a thinker. So, as a matter of fact, you may have one box as a loan outside before you look at yourself and quickly run back to the room. Because you are always lost in thoughts. You know, getting lost in thoughts has no strength, right? But that comes with the weakness. What is the weakness? Not paying attention to how you look. So they are not seeing the strength. It's the weakness. What people see them. It's the weakness. They will come and say, the dress is anyhow. So for every weakness you manifest, it's because of a, a you know an opposing strength that you are manifesting somewhere that is bringing out those weakness. So sit down, do the SWOT analysis, and work on it. If being exposed to people, mediocrity tenses you up and makes you lose patience, hurt interactions with people until you mature. Do you understand? I'm not saying you should not network, but I mean, you know, and if you come, if you come around them, they say you are proud. I mean, so what do you do? Spend more time alone. Only go when you are needed. Okay, I don't know if somebody is understanding what I'm saying. There, there are ways you can work on your weaknesses. I have mine. I, 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 I won't tell you here, but I work on it. That's why I spend more time alone. I don't like mediocrity. Because I have spent time to build my own muscles. So when I see people, you know, we say push it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push it like this. And, uh, whoa. I was not into another person to come and manage you. Because, you know, even my 24 hours is not enough. 
So at that time, you may call me impatient, Nabi. So I'm not being labeled impatient. I'd rather enter my shell and only come when I need to minister to you. I, I enter my shell, but that way, you are not seeing any witness, Nabi. And then the opportunities available to you. The opportunities of this family. Some of you in business here, you say you are looking for markets. And you have these people. Even though you don't know them, you have you are in the same gathering with people like this, this crowd, and you said you, you can't sell. Ah, may the Lord open your eyes of understanding in the name of Jesus. If you bring a market after this meeting, it doesn't need to know anybody. It, between yesterday and now, he has made contact with everybody. Right or wrong? It's the opportunity you have. I told you my own story now. I remember I was seven professional organizations in Nigeria. Don't worry about the ones they counted abroad. At least you heard that one. Seven chartered is of personnel management from Nigeria. I'm a vice chairman currently of Ogun State. By March next year, you, even if the contest against me, I will win. I will, I will beat you silly. I'm going to be the chairman of the entire Ogun State and a member of the National Governing Council of Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria. Nigeria Institute of Management, we did there. Public Relations, we did there. Commerce, we did there. Open that network and then began, I, I began to minister to them and visit their needs. And that gave them for me a national opportunity. National. I'm not only limited to RCC, they are limited to, you know, as long as there are professionals in any profession, I have, I know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows that person. Huh? People that give jobs, the managers, the bank, hey, hey, I know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows a person. Opportunities. And then the threats. Let's leave the threats for now. So we did this and then we advanced. So I, I, I'll go back to what I have written, the, the outlines, uh, because I have about 20 more minutes, so I can spend about 15 minutes and then we enter into questions. Um, I can't give you my number in this, in this meeting because of the crowd. Uh, if this um, wonderful army of the Lord, if you bombard my phone with the call, the, the battery will just hang. <laughs> so somehow, somehow, we will, you know, uh, but I, I wish you could accept to promise me that we, we only limit the conversation to WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp alone, no. <laughs> okay, they say I should not make the mistake. <laughs> I should not make the mistake, I mean. If 
We are ever going to uh, matter. Another reason you need to evolve. Another reason. I told you I'm a member of uh, an executive of Charter Resource Personnel Management of Nigeria, right? The human resource people that employ people. Huh? We had a meeting on Wednesday. The national president was in that meeting in the Kenya. So we were sharing this Jaffa syndrome. You understand? This Jaffa syndrome, how are you people coping? You know, because <laughs> the, the, the manager in the office is planning to Jaffa. The man, the manager is planning to hand over to huh? When he's Jaffa, he still wants to Jaffa. And the big companies are not smiling. The big companies, the standard they said before was 2 1 for slash Abi. Now, you are where the big companies are taking 2 2 now. So, leaving the not so big companies, the 2 2, the not so big companies, not bad, but the big companies now, they are taking it from them. So, the not so big companies now, you know, they are settling for what now? They are settling for third class. So, last, last, these certificates, eh? when you, when you, when you, you know, they say go to school, go to school, last, last, now. We're not going to use certificates for employment again. Now, wait till you feed do. Last, last. And eh? they say now everybody goes to short breakfast, now. <laughs> last, last. This school, where we got the certificate, where they count for here. Last, last, now, wait till you feed do. Now, you go back. And are you aware, globally now, I'm alive, you know, TV, and I can comfortably tell you that Google and Microsoft, are you aware that they are not asking for certificates now? Yes. Google, almighty Google, and Microsoft, to employ you now, they are not asking you to go and bring your BSc certificates. Come and demonstrate what you can. If you don't evolve for this world, the way we they go, no job for you, my dear. And are you aware that they are not asking people to put age on CV again? You know why? So that people like us can be taking your jobs, even at old age. Huh? People like us at 70, I'm still coding, sir. I'm still developing mobile applications. I'm still hacking at 80. And I'll be taking your job if you don't evolve now. I know, don't come in to evolve. That you are not God bless you, sir. So sit down there. They go to school. As we are trying, when the last to finish. Last, last, the ASU said, we don't need the certificate to employ you. Telling you now, I mean, the, we, we, the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria is licensed, the, the, we, we are authorized by a charter to regulate the practice of human resource management in Nigeria. And the national president, we were in the meeting. This happened with the national president in the meeting. Last, last, now what can you be doing? And if you can't deliver excellence, I know the, the prayer warriors here, you continue to come to church, you continue to pray. When they pray, 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 last, last, yeah? and they will help you somehow. That won't be your case in the name of Jesus. Now, how do you evolve? You remember my routine, right? What did I say I do in the morning? Prayer walk. I don't joke with it. I don't joke with prayer walk. And when I go on prayer walk, I'm not asking for anything. No. Huh? I'm just thanking God for everything and asking for mercy. Checking my life, whether I'm still in God. What have I done in the last 24 hours? Eh? That is not in line with the will of God. Just to remain in God. 
I didn't promise anybody. Now, I promise people, well, that they can't go say, when I graduate, when I go become pastor in charge of anything. I didn't, it was even, it was, it was, <laughs> I mean, Sean, all of whatever they do, born again. That, that alone is enough. Because I was fear of National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS. How many of us know NANS? I may have come to your school to scatter your school those days. So that I even became born again is enough. So I didn't promise anybody. So when I came to Christ, I came to be with Jesus forever. Not to preach, not to pastor. So this one is second to being in God, remaining in God is primary. Tell your neighbor, remain in God. Develop intimacy with God. Stay away from sin. Stop lying. Tell him right away. Stop lying. You know what he called you. Oh, pop, 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 pop. Until they found out you. Even with sisters, brothers, ministers in church, you know what he. Say the truth. If you will give me the business, if you will give me the business, he will kill you. They are going on prayer work in the morning. They are licking the anointing. When the devil, the devil has known your weakness, who might pay? Leave him. If you leave him, lay hands on your head, lay, lay leg on your head. He yeah, is coming to drain the anointing. That's why you are not advancing. All the door, they are more weakness. They are more hard to anoint here. We like catch fire. Let them, let them do all the deliverance. Yes. If I be the prayer leader, when he is waiting for you, so make up your mind. And no matter what, I will say the truth. Even if you are not giving me the job, you can't kill me. And that's my own stubbornness. And this is where it has brought us. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two, volunteer for assignments. I'm talking about being involved in Rabbi. For you to evolve, at least you know areas you need to develop, Abi. Some of you may not know areas you are really, really good at now until you experiment with assignments. I'm multi-skilled, and I'm grateful to God that I'm multi-skilled. For I didn't know I could do all of these things until I started experimenting. There's no department in church that cannot function, including the choir. I experimented. I'm not saying there's a place of focus. I mean, there's a place of this one thing I do. But for me to get to this one thing I do, especially for youth, for, for you to arrive at this one thing I do and do well, or better than others, experiment with all the possible ones and know which one you are good at and which one you are not good at. And when you now discover the ones you are good at, sad. Do what? We won't know you know those things eh? until you show that you know them. Abi, how do I know you can decorate? If, if you, if you, <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Some of you here, how many of you are interior decor, decor, decorator? Is it interior decor? What do you call it? You are into interior decoration. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand now, good. You just love a big opportunity and to showcase what you can do. Abi, we gathered here. No interior decoration. Imagine if you have volunteered to decorate this place and say, Sir, I will just put my roll of sand here. Will Pastor Ezekiel allow you or not? Ah. You know what you have done? You are sad. Even if I'm the original, original pastor, original pastor, I will say, please do it. I baptize. That's how I became, that's how I built my first house in jobs. I was older than you as a growing church boy. I started giving people free flyers. Church is free flyers. If you can pay, you pay. 5,000, I mean 10,000. If you can't pay, since I have this space there, I give you free flyer. Huh? When next you want to do fire, you remember me a bit? Sir! They are waiting for the pastor to come and give you more.
the press. Pastor that has other needs. It's what we call emotional bank accounts. Created in people's lives and maintain an active deposit there. Emotional bank accounts. Create, open the account in people's lives and maintain active deposit. You know what that means, right? Do things for people and let them be the one who owes you. So if you register in your mind that this person can do this thing, that is how you net, you, you, you attract more customers. Praise the name of the Lord. So having discovered areas you are good at, dig deep. Tell your neighbor, dig deep. You know what that means, right? That area that they are patronizing you, develop your muscles in those areas. I know my first, before I entered digital, you know those days, there was no digital, right? It was printing and publishing. I got my first uh, uh, printing publishing job even before I knew how to print. When the job started coming around printing and publishing, I had to go and learn printing and publishing. Perfected, you know, my graphics design uh, skills. So the jobs that are coming to you, having network, what do you do? You develop your muscles in those areas. Do you understand me, sir? You can do one, two, three, four, but one is the one, you know, people are, you know, patronizing. Now, what do you do? Develop more muscles in number one. Because it's the cash cow for now. What are the ways you develop yourself? Are you aware, sir, and ma, that I have a tutor in the office? Huh? I've learned um, all these skills, you know, especially computer uh, tech, uh, 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 technician, you know, in school. But they taught me theory, even practical, also there. But there is this guy, whether he went to school or not, does not matter. But he knows the practical aspect of this thing. I have to humble myself and learn some of these things from him. To be able to perfect my graphics work, I went to a, 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 a lab. I went to a lab, a photo lab, to learn how to work on photos. Submitted myself. I think I think I've even I've done my second degree then as a second degree graduate. When to sit down in a photo lab, you bring your photo, Abi, as a, as a uh, cameraman. Then I learn how to polish the photos just to enhance my design skills. Some of you are here, big man, Abi. Congratulations. The Lord be with you. So, what else do you do? Cast a vision of your future. Now you've developed the skill of it. Now cast a vision of where you are going. And stick to it. Drown the noise around you. It's not everywhere that befits you. Not what? It's not all the meetings you should attend the. Eh? They are doing uh, only okay. You are there. They are doing only salad. You are there. This one is doing, you are there. You are just a busy but barren. That will be your case in the name of Jesus. Choose the events you attend. Spend more time in solitude, developing yourself. One day your manifestation will come. People won't give you opportunities because of how many events you attend. They will give you manifest uh, opportunities because of the capacity you carry. And as much as I value solitude, I told you I also network. I mean, you know the difference between the two, bad? and you know how to strike the balance between the two. Solitude and networking, one should not hinder the other. When I network, I go to manifest. I mean, open my emotional bank accounts, make active deposit, look for how to impact people, learn from them. And then we draw to solitude to learn and dig deep and dig deep the more. That is how you develop.
develop this kind of emotion. Praise God. The last few points prioritize excellence, non negotiable. Whatever it is you are going to do, let excellence even show in the way you dress and the way you do your things and be disciplined and focused. Be what? That is the problem we have as youths. Indiscipline. I'm not going to end there because our father is already around. Indiscipline. Lack of focus, the biggest problem of youth. Indiscipline, lack of focus. You are here now, your mind is wandering. If I ask you questions now, I have told you I will ask you questions, but I ask you questions now. Some of you cannot mention three points out of all the points I have raised. Your mind is wandering. You have lost focus. God will help us in the name of Jesus. Okay, uh, because our father is already here, we won't ask the questions. But what I'm going to do, uh, initially I was saying I will attend to one person. But, oh, okay, okay, beautiful. Um, I've been asked to, thank you, Daddy. I've been asked to take one or two questions, you know. Um, I've been asked to take one or two questions, then I'll drop my number with you. Please don't call, people I won't pick. And I told you if, you, if you call, I won't pick. Chat me up on WhatsApp, then when I see your serious, then I give you assignments you do, I ask you to do things you do, and then I can score your number. The moment your number enters my call list, then I can begin to pick your call. You won't say I'm proud, though. do you understand? <laughs> zero is zero. Three nine five zero four eight eight six. Zero is zero three nine five zero four double eight six. So please chat and let's talk. Now questions. You have questions to ask? Please run forward. Just run forward. Yes, if I can have one or two questions. Please just run to the other views. Sharp, 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 sharp. First two. Okay. Praise the Lord. Uh, my question is um, we made mention of in the working with people, um, advancing, but in a situation whereby you have this uh, burning desire to go into something, but you don't have good financial backup, how do you go about it? And you know, in these things, you can do it more better if you are given opportunity to do it, but you have a constraint, financial constraint. Praise the Lord. So you talked about networking and solitude, and also developing a lot of skills. For networking and solitude, what about a person who is an introvert and finds it difficult to relate with people? What should the person do? Also, for learning um, certain skills, if um, a lot of skills, if someone um, is very good at, you said yes, you develop on skills you are good at, but what where is the place of maybe focusing on one? Like just one, or is it better to also um, develop a lot of skills? As a career person, maybe my client gave me want to give me a work. So for a month, there's no light or it's disturbed. But my spirit was telling me, "If I can't be patient, the work will get to you." I'm about to call the person back maybe a month after. You are giving work to another person. What should we do? I've seen it, I've worked with him. He was telling me, don't worry, I'll give you another job. Where is my spirit? was telling me, you give me another job. What do we do in that aspect, sir? Okay, he said um, he, he, somebody was giving me a job. This is on his career line, and then um, along the line, the person gave the job to another person. But 
the person keep promising him, and the spirit said, person is going to give him what he should do. So please, can we? Your, your, your question is um, the second question. You are you have one skill or? Ah. Okay. Um, you ask questions again, but I I will just ask, I've been asked that uh, to tell you to sit down. So please sit in the front here while I answer your question. Now, um, let me start from the last man. See, if somebody promises you a job, huh, and he ends up not giving you, check yourself. Huh? Check yourself. If I promise to give you a job and I don't give you again, you may have done some things between when I promised you and I, you know, and when I gave the job out that makes me change my mind. I mean, I may feel it's better to put you on the payroll uh, than to bring you on board, you know, as an employee. So we work more on yourself. We can't, we don't have control over the other person. Do you understand? We don't have control over the other person. Let's just work on ourselves and be sure that we become somebody that is employable and that people cannot do without. That way, if one person fails us, other people will come up. Thank you very much. Now for um, the brother that finance, um, you may need to see me uh, after now, so we can look at what area of it. There are money. There are people that have money uh, that want to invest. You are aware of this show, Shark Tank, right? There are venture capitalists that have money, but uh, you are not just connected to the right people. And then there is a level for which you drive your business. Monies will come. I'll say this and then you will, you will talk more about this later. When I was doing printing publishing in jobs, before I entered digital, there was a man who worked with Glow. He called me and said, you know, but they, I love your printing. I'm ready to give you, I think it was 12 million or 12.5. You know, let's buy a machine and I will just give you the money you go and manage the thing. But the money I needed there was 15 million to buy the, the we call it cold machine. If I had accepted the 12.5 million, the man would have invested the money. So there's a level for which there are people watching you, venture capitalists, people having cash, they don't know what to do with it. So we'll talk about that later. There are banks also, banks of industry, even all these banks that have this money, but you need to position yourself. For them to see you as somebody is that won't squander their money, that won't waste their money. So we'll talk about that when we have the one-on-one -on -one chat, you know, on WhatsApp. Now, for anti um, skills. Now, there, there are skills that are cash cows. I used to be confused because I'm multi-skilled. You know, I could talk eloquently, I could write, I could draw, I could organize multi-skilled. And each of these, you know, talents, they have multiple skills I can develop from the gift of art alone, you know, I could do multimedia, I could do graphics art, I could do web design, I could do a bit of uh, digital marketing, you know, I could do creative arts, you know, all kinds of things from one gift. Now, imagine being multi-talented huh? and you have multiple skills you can develop from each of the talents. You know how confused I would have been. Now, the one that they patronized best was printing publishing. Would it not be stupid of me not to quickly develop more muscle around printing and publishing? And then I, I'll say, no, 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 I don't want to identify with this. I want the first of all develop muscles in digital marketing. When there was no market for digital marketing. So the one that they are patronizing now for as long as he aligns with what you want to do. We're talking about, you no, know, this is not spiritual now, we're talking about career and business, right? The ones that customers are around develop more muscles there. When you fully develop that muscle, you can now, the capital you raise there, huh, begin to divest. If customers are now showing up, for me, for me as an example, it was printing publishing. I didn't do digital marketing before I built my first house. Printing publishing alone, ordinary carry paper, magazine, calendar. You can know how much you, you can imagine how much money I made from that. Then, when the world began to enter digital marketing, I started learning it gradually. Let video production, you 
you will learn all of those things, and by the grace of God, we also make millions from there. But imagine if I'm putting the is it the cat before the horse now and saying why the market of printing publishing was around, I will develop all the necessary skills there, I will develop digital marketing. There was no market for that then. So the market available develop the capacity to meet the needs of that market. As more markets come up, develop more capacity in that area. Have I done justice to that question, man? Now, the second, your second question um, is about introverts. Abi, are you aware that every man is both an introvert and an extrovert? You just showed preference for one over the other. I used to jokingly say, when I'm alone, I'm an introvert. Uh, when you are alone, you are an introvert now. Have you, when, when you are not a madman, who, who are you going to you know, extravert with? So you, you can consciously develop you know, the skill of interaction, of networking. You, you, you may go for courses around that just to develop yourself in that area. Do you understand? Talk about uh, breaking the ice, you know, meeting people. Go be deliberate about learning, you know, uh, those things. You may see me later uh, if you are not clear about this. I introduce you to some courses that can bridge communication. So, uh, thank you very much for your patience. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. And you, Shakia. The mother redeemer, we thank you for your children. Thank you for all we have learned in this meeting. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. My sincere prayer, Father, is that we will emerge from here an army that is unstoppable in the name of Jesus. Father, my outcry is that each one of us, Father, will be fired up from this day to begin to develop ourselves and to begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the name of the Lord.